Chad Connors. I'm Chad Connors. Welcome to Connors Guy of the Corner. Terror in the stars last night as a group of Soviets on the Leningrad 1 attempted to assassinate dozens of black leaders on board the COP space station. Yet they were thwarted in a surprising turn of events by an ordinary space mechanic by the name of Delmick Griff. But in perhaps the most shocking development of this story, the president of the Space Soviet Union, President Steele, made an announcement earlier today that Colonel Crosshair, Captain Natasha Vigo, and First Mate Dmitry had defected and left the Space Soviet Union organization over a year ago. The Leningrad 1 was reported a stolen spacecraft. <laughs> The president later stated that only Dimitri was recovered after the incident. Captain Vigo is thought to have escaped some time before the recovery and is yet to be found. Colonel Crossler's location is also unknown at this time. In his final statement, President Steele declared the attack as an official act of Soviet treason and once more reassured the galaxy of his firm dedication to the capital courts and his current era of peace. Well, that's all for the time we have on Connor's Cosmic Corner. But before we go, on behalf of the entire galaxy, I would like to extend a sincere thanks to Delta Griff for his hair wisdom and We look forward to a brighter future, and all thanks to one brave smooth. Summoning of Del Magritte. Greetings, Del. My name's Imaginaris. I'm a magic wizard. What's the name of Ronald Reagan? Yeah! Ah! Del, let me be frank with you. I thought you said your name was Imaginaris. I need your help. You're far more than the ordinary space mechanic. You're truly exemplary. Me? Exemplary? As you can see, Dale, I have recently fallen ill. Uh, I thought you were just lazy. I have fallen ill, and unfortunately the usual magical potions and medicines are not aiding my recovery. I have a most unknown ailment. Well, that's a bummer. All right, see you later. Oh, hey, all right, 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 all right. Now, where was I? Usual potions and medicines. Now, real quick, what's the dynamic here? Is it kind of like... Ooh. Guardian of the wizard, I mm. guard the, the wizard. Daryl, there is a clearing deep in the Wailing Woods. A clearing where the mythical Gary Berry grows. A magic berry that can cure all magical ailments very powerful in nature. They're my only chance at recovery, and I need you to collect some for me. Dark days lie at it, and I need my strength if I am to combat it. For centuries I have been a guardian of the cosmos, guiding the light for those who wish to vanquish the darkness, fighting against the oppression and the e- Where? Where? Where did he go? I was in the middle of my big dramatic monologue. <laughs> You're a real prick, you know that? Alright, listen here, wizard sex slave. I'm Space Mechanic of the Month three months in a row. And I don't care if it's not a real award and something that I made up. Today was my day off. I had plans, so I don't care what you or a little wizard pointy boyfriend says. I'm not interested. Why do you walk like that? I'm hungry. This is how hungry people walk. I'm starving, and I haven't eaten for hours. I can't believe how selfish you are. You do realize the cosmic importance of this, that millions of lives depend on your actions. All right, if these Larry Berries are so important, then why don't you get them? 
I have to keep the wizard safe. I am guardian of the wizard, not fetcher of the berries. Mm. Fetcher of the berries. Yeah, nah, I'm day off space mechanic. Why don't we both stick to what we know? Well, I suppose you don't want our buffet of cashews. Chapter 2. The quest begins. Alright, old Dale's gonna get your little hairy berries back, no problem. Just, uh, back up and, uh, let the professional work. It is about an hour's journey north through the Wailing Woods. Be warned, it is a dark place filled with sinister creatures. Please, I eat sinister creatures for breakfast. Actually, no, I don't. I eat Cosmic Cookie Crunch, the cereal with chocolate chips in every bite. You done? Yeah. Unless you uh, want me to sing the Cosmic Cookie Crunch cereal. Jingle. No. You sure? Yes. Perfect timing. Meet Mr. McGriff. I'll be accompanying you on this journey. Yeah, I'm sure you're uh, lovely and all, and uh, whatever this farming getup is. Listen, imagine it, I don't need a guide or a tutor or a bodyguard or what have you here. Just send me out, get the berries, come back, easy, squeezy, little easy. Be no problem. Besides, I'm sure Abigail here is super busy. Oh! Anya! Anya's a skilled warrior. Who should be honored to have her on this quest? Shall we get a move on, Mr. McGriff? Can you slap me again? For the cashews. Doing it for the cashews. Are you sure this is a good idea? Well, do you have a better one? Yeah. Like five. Well, who asked you? You! Just just right now. Don't you have somewhere to be? Chapter 3. Into the Wailing Woods.
like life. Uh, speak up, baby. I can barely hear you. Anyways, listen. I've got to go to Space Vegas next week. Wonder if you could cover my ships? Yeah, I'm on a secret space oh, mission. Oh, oh, baby, you said yes. We're going penny slot. Yes, sir. Get your two-piece. We're going to get wasted. <laughs> Chapter 4 Return of the Wizard Why? I have been working out. Mm. Huzzah! He has returned! You little wizard! I kill you! Ah! 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 What is the matter with you? Creek ah! thy space bear? Did you not tell him about the space bear? Well, Ah, uh, no you didn't! Uh, I greatly apologize, Dale. Just give us the berries and you'll be home before you know it. Berries? You... You got the berries, right? Hypothetically. What if I didn't get the berries? He didn't get the berries. What?! I almost got ate by a space bear! Wait. You didn't wake up, Grignar. Did you? Uh... <laughs> Gregnar's away. Dale, I expected so much more from you. The portal to send you home is down the trail. Since that's all you seem to care about. I was promised a buffet of cashews. I guess you're just an ordinary mechanic after all. Space mechanic. This isn't a buffet, it's a jar! Chapter 5 The Heroes Disband. You're leaving. Just like that. Listen, this ain't my fight. Not your fight. You woke up, Grignard. You got us into this mess. Hey, you seem like a level headed person. So let me give you some advice. Always look out for number one. Number one is yourself. Yeah, I got that. Well, Del McGriff, you got your prize. So why are there tears stinging my eyes? Running down my face into my stash. I got what I want, but I'm feeling like trash. My space mechanic heart feels really tight. Do I leave or stay and fight? I can't figure out what's wrong and what's right. I don't know what to do. Tell me what's the price of a cashew? Is it worth the heartache I feel when I leave you? Crunchy and sweet, does that taste beat in the end? The wonderful taste of a friend. Nuts, maybe I'm blind. We're talking about the future of all mankind. Do I fight or go home and unwind? I don't wanna be a hero. I feel like a space age zero. Fixing ships that's best for me, not fulfilling a prophecy. Wizard says I might, 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 so I have to stay and fight. fight, fight. Gotta go back, fix my mistake, do it now before it's too late. Tell me what's the price of a cashew? 
Is it worth the heartache I feel when I leave you? I know the answer now, and that answer is no. So I draw my sword, it's time to go! Tell me what's the price of a cashew? 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 Chapter 6, The Duel of Dell and Bring on the Space Bear. Alright, Winnie the Pooh. Let's dance. What are you gonna do? I'll have to hold him off as long as I can. Hey, there. I'm what is that? Pause. Let's do this. Oh, look who it is. Mr. Big Bear. Mr. Big Brown Bear coming out of the forest. Oh, yeah. Here he is. All right. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think you just an ordinary mechanic after all. You woke up for a car. You got us into the I expected so much more from you. Far more than an ordinary space mechanic. More truly exemplary. 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 Let's kick this baby into gear. Fighting Ragnar? Is he winning? You're unbearable. bother us anymore. We know that walk. Which one do you have these? Come on, take them. There we go. See, I knew you're not a mean, hungry space bear. You're just a regular hungry space bear. Yeah. Oh, God, oh, jeez. Oh, I've never been hugged by a real space bear before. Chapter 7. The Journey's End. As an act of generosity, Gringar the space bear presented three magical berries to the ailing Imaginaris, thus fully restoring the wizard's health. Thank you, Dale, and thank you to my new friend, Grignar. <laughs> well, Mr. McGriff, I suppose this concludes your adventure. I am forever in your debt. Listen, I really don't like apologizing, but I was wrong about you, and for that, I'm sorry. It's all right, I was being a bit of a jerk myself. It happens when I go through a cashew detox. We good? Yes, we good. Oh, before I forget. Imaginarius wanted you to have this. What the heck kind of doodad is this? It's a beacon. Just press that button in the middle twice and we will be there no matter where you are. Thanks, Clandar. If there's anything you need, do not hesitate to ask. Well, there is one thing. What's that? Wizard dance party!
memories have given me renewed strength. Strength enough to shake a leg and get funky. Ooh. Mr. McGriff, this one's for you. Let me tell a tale about Dale McGriff. Space mechanic man, nah, he ain't a myth. He's coming from the stars, as you can see. He's coming to save the whole galaxy. I was feeling sick and I was feeling down, so I called McGriff to come around. He did the quest, beat the bear, he answered all my wizard prayers. If you're down and feeling blue, a space mechanic will always help you. Say, if you're down and feeling blue, a space mechanic will always help you. If you're down and feeling blue, a space mechanic will always help you. Just pick up the phone, give a ring, and let McGriff do his thing. Wizards, black gods of the cosmos. Their influence is growing once more. And that is a complication I cannot have. Shall I take action against them? No. Not yet, Raspin. What of their new ally? The mortal? The space mechanic? <laughs> I begin to believe that he could be. The Celestial Conjurer. Not this mortal. The Conjurer he is not. But a thorn in my side he is. How can you be so sure? Imaginaris seemed to take Don't quite Don't say it. that name before me. You ought to pay that mortal no mind for now. When the time comes, that woman Crosshair will deal with him. Crosshair? After his failure to destroy the COP, why not let me eliminate this new adversary before he defeats you again? He did not defeat me. He defeated Colonel Crosshair, a weak and foolish mortal. This space mechanic is no threat to me. He is a cockroach under the heel of my boot. As you can. 